Hi everybody, this is Nafish. Today we are going to design some filters in Jupyter Notebook. We have to import NumPy, we have to import SciPy and Matplotlib for plotting purpose. So let's get started. First of all, we have to get, um, for any filter design, we have to have, we have to think of a transfer function and in transfer function we have a numerator and denominator. So we have to import the numerator and denominator and we are going to import this from SciPy. So sp.signal and then since we are going to go for a shape shape filter, so shape one and then uh, we have some inputs input parameters here okay so but first let's think of a transfer function so basically we are going to get the polynomials of the transfer function right here b and a now in the input we're gon gonna have the order of the filter and then we are going to have the cutoff frequency but for shibi i think we are, we are going to have a ripple first so ripple and then the cutoff frequency and then uh, what is the filter type so filter i okay so let's go over these parameters one by one so first n is the order of the filter n is let's say you know just give it a number five for now but we are going to go over some other numbers and see how the response look like okay and then ripple you know in Chevy filter we have a ripple in the pass band okay so and we, once we uh, draw the filter we can see how the ripple how that is impacting the overall performance but for here for this example let's say ripple is 20 20 db then we have the cutoff frequency okay so cutoff frequency and the sampling frequency you know cutoff frequency is let's say we, we want to have 100 hertz and then sampling frequency which is let's say 300 okay now this cutoff frequency right here this is normalized and this is normalized by the nyquist um, frequency so just to keep things simple you have fn and fn is nothing but half of the septic frequency okay and you have to normalize this fc so we have n we have r but this fc this is normalized so fc cutoff frequency at normalized by the nyquist frequency so fn okay then filter type let's say locus okay and then we run all the cells so we get the B and A parameter of the filter transfer function. Now we are going to have the other two. So from this B and A, we are going to derive the frequency and um, the response, filter response along the frequency. Okay. So W and H, W is the frequency, H is the response. And we are going to have same SP, then signal. And from signal, you, you got to have fix. So fix. And the input here will be B and A. So the numerator and the denominator. Okay. Then run this line. Now we have to plot the filter. So to plot it, PLD, plot. And now since this W is normalized, so we got to get into hertz, right? So everything here is in hertz. So uh, W times FS. And in the denominator, we have 2 times NP dot R. Okay. And then we have this h which is you know we have we can convert into logarithmic scale so 20 times log 10 and then since it's a complex number absolute value of this h okay and i think it they're going to be an nd in front of this log 10 because this is very important from the number let's start it out okay there's going to be division here okay so run it okay so we are going we, we have gotten the response so Remember, we had a cutoff frequency of 100. So let's see, let's plot the cutoff frequency, okay? So PLD dot AX V line. So this is going to draw a vertical line along the cutoff frequency. And let's say color is red, okay? Then, okay. So you see, along the 100 hertz, the cutoff frequency is there. And now, regarding the ripple, we have ripple, let's say 20, okay? so this thing is 20 db down from the max zero is the max right so some some of the frequency response is 20 db down and which is basically saying like even in the pass band there might be some attenuation 20 db attenuation applied to the signal okay you know that after the pass band in the stop band there's more attenuation you can see that but even in the pass band due to this ripple there will be some attenuation okay um we can have um, another thing like the response with different number of ripple okay so 
to do that what you can do is like let's write everything in a single cell so this guy here and then this guy this plotting parameter also put it here okay and then let's run it for so for i put it here 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 i in and also have um a list of different um different r numbers r is 32 right so let's say um r r is, let's say we want to see 20 variable uh 40 variable and 60 variable okay so there's a list of different ripple numbers then just run it so i in r r so it's going to go over all these ripple values and let's instead of r here put i okay and hopefully we are going to get the data output and this number i think this is we don't need so let's try uh okay this is missing there so let's run all the cells okay so you can see and i think we have to do some labeling here so let's say label is equals to um so we are going to have i right for all these values so let's say ripple ripple is equals to i okay and there's a f in front of it and i think we are all set so let's write down plt dot legend so plt dot legend okay then it's going to show up the legends here right here okay so run okay so you can see the ripple 20 okay it's 20 debatable but the response is not uh acting the stop band this is not sharp but for 60 debatable in the s band you are attenuating some of the frequency components by this amount okay by 60 db however in the stop band the response is much more uh, steeper okay so this is the i think this is the um uh, some of the items you know we have to remember like if you are going to have more ripple then uh in the pass band then the steeper the sharper the response in the uh, stop band okay now we can do the same thing with shape 2 and see how that look, looks like the shape shape 2 filter okay so run it okay in shape shape 2 filter there is no ripple in the pass band but you see these side lobes here or you know the gain whatever you call in a stop band there is like you know it's attenuation is not that much as the shape one okay and you can see like some of the frequency component will not be attenuated as much as the shape one but on the other hand you are not going to get like you know attenuation this in the pass band you're going to like kind of the pass band is kind of it's zero okay so no ripple in the pass band but the ripple that's in the stop band will will you know it's kind of a compromise so basically we'll have some frequency component uh, not that much attenuated you know now we can compare this with the butter filter as well okay so you know like the chef filter has steeper cutoff than the butter filter but we can just plot that as well okay so to do that we can just like um, copy all these things okay and let's have it oh let's remove this line okay let's have it here so this is the bna component so instead of shape 2 it's called butter butter and then uh we don't have the ripple in butter so remove that ripple component okay and i think we should be all set then right and instead of this label let's remove the label here and let's say let's run it up let's run this particular cell okay so run it okay so this is the low pass filter response for a pattern filter and since the cutoff frequency is 100 you can compare the same thing with this uh, with this guy okay and you can see like the response is here for the shape filter is much more uh, steeper than the butter of the filter okay you can just visually like without plotting on top of each other you can just say okay this is like kind of very much passing some of the frequency component um, after 100 you know 100 was our cutoff 
here you see it's kind of very much steeper so this is uh, one of the advantage of the Chevy filter but on the drawback is like you know all the strippers you have